What's going on guys and welcome back to my third career video of today. This video won't be going out until at least the weekend most likely. So got a few days before I upload this video. I just want to get as many as I can out now just so I don't have to worry about uploads during this week just in case I'm not able to do them. Jack Skilly is a very interesting player. Similar but very not similar to Ben Smith and um, the other guy, Jeremy Morin. Both weren't high. Both of those guys weren't as high picks as Jack Skilly. Jack Skilly is a 2005 first round pick, seventh overall. There are high expectations for Skilly. Same draft as Crosby. 2007-08, 16 games played, three goals, two assists, five points. As he makes his debut two seasons after his draft year, no games played in the playoffs because the Hawks do not make them that year. 2008-2009, eight games played, one goal, no assist, one point. No games played in the playoffs because he doesn't play in them that year. 2009-10, six games played, one goal, one assist, two points. Does not get his name on the Stanley Cup because he spends most of the season in Rockford. And then 2010-11, he finally gets his real chance. 49 games played, seven goals, 10 assists, 17 points in those 49. And he's traded before the Hawks make it to the playoffs. He is traded. Jack Scully is traded with Hugh Jessiman, another bust, and David Pacan, whatever that is. For Michael Froelich and Alexander uh, Salak. This is an absolute steal for Chicago as Froelich goes on to play a, a big, not a big role, but a, a role in their 2013 Stanley Cup victory. And so with Florida then in 2010 11, 13 games played, one goal, one assist, two points, no playoffs for Florida. 2011 12, he plays 46 games at the Panthers, four goals, six assists, 10 points, does not play in the playoffs but the Panthers. 2012-13, 40 games played, 3 goals, 9 assists, 12 points. Does not play in the playoffs with the Panthers because they don't make them. 2013-14, he signs with Columbus. Well, he's claimed off waivers by Columbus from the Islanders who signed them. Never played with the Islanders. 4 goals, no goal assist, 4 points. He actually plays his only playoff time with the Blue Jackets. 6 games played, no goals, 1 assist, 1 point. I believe that was the first time Columbus won a game in that series in the playoffs. 2014-15, 45 games with Columbus, 6 goals, 2 assists, 8 points, no playoffs, does, or does not play in them. I don't remember if Columbus made them that year. Um, maybe, I, I really don't remember. 2015-16 with Colorado that he signs, 74 games played, or he's probably claimed off waivers, let's be honest. 8 goals, 6 assists, 14 points, Colorado does not make the playoffs that year, so he does not need to play in them. He plays for teams that aren't really good a lot of the time. 2016-17 with Vancouver, then he signs. 55 games played, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points. No games played in the playoffs that year because Vancouver does not make them. Totaling 368 games played, uh, 43 goals, 41 assists, 84 points. 6 games played in the playoffs, no goals, 1 assist, 1 point. He does have some international awards. At the World Junior Championships uh, under 18 or 18 tournament, uh, go, he wins gold in 2005. In the same tournament, he wins silver in 2004. And in the World Juniors, he wins bronze in 2007. So he got some international, got bronze, silver, and gold. Never gets his name close to the Stanley Cup. I guess you can say 2010 was close, but he only played six games, which is not enough to qualify, and no get time made it played in the playoffs. Um, traveled around a lot, was on waivers a lot, and then ended up out of the league in about a decade. So he ended the, I know he played in Norway, he played in... Um, some other places as well, I can't recall. I just looked at the article, but oh well. So yeah, Jack Skilly, one of the big busts that Chicago had. And if, you, if, if some of these guys landed, you already have Taze and Kane. If guys like Barker and um, Barker and uh, Skilly and, well, Kyle Beach is a completely different scenario. I'm not going to get into that now. He could have probably been a dynamic forward if the things that happened to him did not happen. But... Skilly specifically, Bar Barker wasn't even that bad. I feel like they just kind of gave up on him because he was supposed to be more. But um, Skilly specifically stands out of this era as just the biggest bust that the Hawks had. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this short career video. One of these short ones I wanted to get through because I've done I've done two long ones today. Might as well, might as well do a short one. See if I make any more. If I'm wearing the same outfit, that's how you know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.